All right, so this is going to be the first video, and that's going to be an introduction to two different series. So basically, they're going to carry alongside each other, but this one is going to be for setting up the ability system core module that will be used as a prerequisite for, you know, other series, such as the upcoming Zombies tutorial, as well as just the general gas tutorial series that I plan on doing later down the road. So to begin, what we're going to do is... Here we just have the third person example project. Doesn't matter at all what you're using. That's just for the sake of this example. You're gonna go ahead, go to plugins and enable the gameplay abilities. So just like so, we can close down the editor. And now we are basically ready to create the module. Simple as that. So when I say module, I mean this, for example, that the project creates by itself is a module. So if you're not familiar with what modules are, Epic has a write-up on kind of understanding and setting them up. And I do here as well, both of which will be linked in the description as long as I remember. But I'd recommend you follow those as I don't want to handhold through something I've already done. Anyways, uh, if, you're, if you have Writer, you can actually go ahead and create a new Unreal module like so, very simply. And the name of the module in our case is going to just be Ability System Core. Okay, now some of the things that this module is going to be used for, like the purpose of creating it. So basically there's going to be a class for enhanced input, a class for the ability system component, and a class for an actual gameplay ability. So these are going to be kind of our base classes moving forwards. Now the reason why is, let's focus on the ability. So the reason we're going to make our own gameplay ability base class is for the sake of having a basically your input events so on input pressed and on input released so that way we can handle things like holding your you know your interact key down and stuff like that a lot easier likewise that's going to tie into the ability system component which is going to pass that info to set abilities and handle setting up a bunch of defaults that we would normally be handling elsewhere which is going to kind of keep things I guess you could say self-contained a little bit cleaner and easier. And then lastly, the enhanced input component. This is what's going to be responsible for actually binding our inputs to abilities. So for example, let's take, let's say we have a jump ability and we want to bind that to spacebar. The way this would work is we have our input action called IA jump, and we have an input mapping context, which binds that IA jump input action to a key, which would be our space bar. Well, we're going to have a data asset that is going to map these together. So what we're going to do is in that data asset, it's going to have the input action jump, and that's going to be linked to a gameplay tag called ability.jump. Then inside of our actual ability, we're going to have a new gameplay tag that's going to be the startup tag, and that's going to hold a value of IA underscore, or sorry, uh, ability dot jump. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to bind those together. So whenever we press space bar, as long as that's set up in the input mapping context and active, it's going to search and find any granted ability that we have that contains that startup tag of ability dot jump. And it's going to try to activate it. Likewise, whenever we release the space bar, it's going to find any active abilities that have the input or sorry, that have the startup tag IA dot, or, uh, ability dot jump, and it's going to execute the released event. So that's going to let us basically handle it however we want. So that could do things such as, okay, we know we're still holding down space bar, so every time we touch the ground, we want to jump again. Or whenever we release it, we want to go ahead and terminate the ability, you know, that sort of thing. So that's kind of a general overview, and that's what we're going to get started on in the next video. So I'll see you then.